Hey guys, thanks for being here. So in previous videos, I've talked about things that you should know before getting into the adult industry. For people that haven't seen those videos, I suggest that you go check them out. They're pretty informative. I did wanna get more in depth with a specific topic. People were specifically curious about this, and that is sexually transmitted diseases in the adult industry. So as most people know, to be active in the industry and work for reputable companies, performers are tested regularly. And when I say regularly, that means you have to have a 14 day current test to engage in sex. When I say sex, hopefully we're talking both oral and vaginal, but and anal. But most companies will ask for a 14 day test. Uh, 14 day test. And whether you're working with an agency or not, this is required and it will be asked for prior to your shoot. Both performers will show each other that they have a current and eligible test. These tests are done at two facilities, talent testing or cutting edge testing. This is basically like a database when performers get tested, their results are pooled in this database and then agencies and producers will be able to pull the results from this and see that there is a current day test. So if a performer is active, they're going to have to get tested every 14 days, so twice a month, and each test approximately costs $155 if you're getting the full panel test required, okay? That doesn't include now the current COVID tests that are also required, which is an extra maybe 25 bucks or so. So you're looking at a payment of over $300 a month just to get tested. You cannot use your health insurance. This is required, you're required to play out of pocket. So it is expensive. It's pretty much a car payment, but for just making sure that you're regularly tested in the industry. So this is a big thing people aren't aware about. Not being able to use your health insurance is a really huge deal. And it's extremely expensive to do this on a regular basis. So this is something that as a performer, you're regarded as a 1099 independent contractor and you are required to pay these on your own. First thing. So a eligible test, full panel test before shooting would entail a sexually transmitted panel, which would include gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis, and then we're gonna do hepatitis B, C, HIV, and trichinomus, which is a bacterial infection in a woman's vagina. So these are the things that are tested for. However, it is not required to get tested for herpes one and two, which unfortunately, majority of the performers in the industry do have. But like I said, because it is so common in the industry, along with HPV, it's not required to be negative on a test. A lot of performers are on antiviral and medications to maintain herpes virus, but if you don't have an active infection, it doesn't really matter. So this is something to be very wary about. If you are entering the industry, your chances of contracting herpes is extremely high. I got herpes one and two within oh, maybe my third shoot in the industry, which I've never gotten an outbreak on my genitals, but I did get a herpes two outbreak on my hip bone, which had basically told me that I had it, got tested, did a biopsy, and it did turn out that it was herpes. So that was a very interesting spot to get it, um, luckily, but I am able to maintain it greatly just through my diet and by increasing the amino acid lysine in my diet and minimizing arginine, which will actually feed the virus. And then also taking some antiviral herbs, um, is also very important. So I can make a whole other video about treating herpes on its own, but I won't get too detailed into that yet. So yes, those are the things that are tested. And there's a big misconception within society and even with the industry that if you are a performer, you are considered safer to have sex with. This couldn't be more further than from the truth. And even though these performers are tested regularly, it doesn't mean that it's safer. Why is this? Because majority of performers are so sexually active, they're having more sex than the average person, and they're often having unprotected sex, both on shoots with partners of their choice in their free time, 
right? Just for fun, for love, whatever it is, if they're in a relationship. And also a lot of performers end up being escorts or doing sexual things like OnlyFans that aren't necessarily always as safe when it comes to having standards, when it comes to showing each other their tests. You don't know this because this isn't a regulation when you're doing um, offshoots, you know, shooting content like for OnlyFans or even webcam. So these are things to keep in mind. If you're thinking about entering the adult industry or having sex with an active performer, just understand that it is not safer to have sex just because you're having sex with someone that's in the adult industry. They might be getting tested more regularly, but this does not guarantee that they are safer or they're not free of any STDs or viruses. So be very communicative. It is important that everyone gets tested regularly, even outside of the panels required through TTS or cutting edge testing. You should go to your primary care physician, be getting tested regularly. If you don't have health insurance, you could easily go to Planned Parenthood or there's many free STD checks that you can get within your state. So I highly, highly, highly suggest always getting tested if you are having sex with numerous partners and you're not in a monogamous relationship. This was a big thing for me in the industry that was quite scary um, because like I said before, I've always been very careful when it comes to sex and my physical health because you know my background is in nutrition and I care very much about my, my health and well-being and what is put in my body. So that also plays into count my partners. Um, one thing that I did do when I was actively shooting porn was that I would often ask the performer if they could get a fresh test the day before the shoot because the turnover is one day when you're going through cutting edge testing or talent edge testing. So you would get your results the next day. So a lot of performers didn't like this um, because they would have to pay an extra test for me if the company didn't cover it. So this is something that is sad because not only does it make performers have to pay out of pocket but it's also showing that we don't have union, we don't have proper healthcare enforced within the industry, that if someone does get sick, like say there's been multiple cases where people contract HIV, which is extremely sad. When that happens, these performers are on their own. They don't have help within the industry. Now they are paying for probably the rest of their life for either medication or treatment for this type of virus, which is going to affect their life forever. So please be wary about these. There are very, very, very much huge risks about having sex with people in the adult industry or if you're in the industry, that is very, very likely that you will not only contract a virus like H uh, HPV or herpes, but also just STDs in general, even bacterial infections. I mean, there's a lot of unsafe practices that happen, say um, ass to mouth or say, ass to vagina where people don't realize that you're introducing so much harmful bacteria into your body that can make you very sick, okay? And companies that care for the health of the performers will be aware of this and they will provide, say, douches after the scene that have iodine in it. I like to do regularly um, vaginal douches with water vinegar and hydrogen peroxide and I find that I have completely avoided getting any type of yeast infections or bacterial infections in my vagina but proper care of your reproductive organs is extremely important when you're working in the adult industry you have to be aware of your partners their past what type of behaviors they have outside of a shoot because you really don't know think about this um say I had a shoot on a Thursday. So that means as long as I have this 14 day test with that 14 day window, I can shoot for that company, right? Because I have that valid test. However, what if I had unprotected sex two days before that shoot? I don't know, with some random person that I was seeing. What if they had an STD and I contracted that from them? And then I went on and I had sex at my shoot. I, because I still had this valid 14 day test, might not know that I contracted something else from someone else. And then I went on and did a scene and I gave it to that other performer. This happens so frequently, but 
it's basically an unknown phenomenon. We don't know because there's that 14 day window. So it doesn't guarantee that everyone's safe just because you have a 14 day test. Remember that, okay? It doesn't mean you're getting tested more frequently so you'll be able to find out sooner if you do have either a virus infection or disease, but this can't be guaranteed. So please be aware of this and it's a shame that there's not many more options or help for people in the industry when they do contract something um, instead of having to pay out of pocket and being on their own. But these are things that people should be very aware about in the industry. Spread this information to people that you know and take care of your body and other people that you care about. Get tested regularly, whether you're in the industry or not. If you are having sex with more than one person, you should always be getting tested regularly to protect yourself and to protect other people. Thank you.